welcome to my channel. This is Lexa Marie with another video. Today we are going to be talking about friends again. Y'all know, y'all know the vibes. This is my pretty girl talk. We are going to be talking about things to watch out for when making new friends. And I don't see this topic discussed as much, so I was like, you know what, why not? So I'm just going to be giving you guys essentially some like red flags to look out for when you are trying to make new friends. So before I get into this video, make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. If you do want to see more content like this, make sure that you let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to know about this hair, okay, this hair that I did all by myself, okay, these beautiful 36 inch locks. Make sure that you check out my lock tutorial after this video. But without further ado, we're going to hop right into these red flags, into these warning signs. Because y'all still be falling for it. And if we can get this at the roots, if we can stop these people from coming in our lives at the root, then we will save ourselves so much drama. Okay? Okay. All right, so what inspired me to make this video was hearing that so many people felt bamboozled when their best friend betrayed them or a new friend that they made started to show their true colors. And I always feel like there's always warning signs. There's always different things to see in the beginning that can be an indication of problems later on in the friendship. And, and this is just my philosophy. Y'all can think, you know, I'm a pessimist or whatever, regardless of what you give me in the beginning, I'm not going to take that and run with it because everyone, all right, listen, everyone's going to give their best impression in the beginning. They're going to be nice to you. They're gonna be kind to you. They're gonna be sweet. But just because someone is nice, just, be, just because someone is kind, just because someone is sweet, doesn't necessarily mean that their intentions down the line will be good. So I'm just going to give you guys about five different ways that you can identify some problems in the beginning in the the seed of the friendship stage just so you can figure out whether or not you want these people in your life all right so the first red flag slash thing to look out for warning sign when making a new friend is when you hear people warning you about that person okay and i know you guys at least one time in your life someone has come up to you and said "Ooh, watch out for so and so she likes to steal or Ooh, watch out for so-and-so. I heard she, well, you know, she took her friend's last boyfriend, etc., etc. Listen to what those people have to say, okay? I'm not saying block your blessings and no longer engage with anyone after that, but take what those people say, if it's more than one person, and keep it in the back of your mind because what that will allow you to do is be one step ahead of the game so you know what to look out for and what to do and what not to do. Um, again, this is something that can just help you from being blindsided, especially if you're meeting someone and they have a history of stealing. You know not to leave your valuables around that person. You know maybe you don't want to be friends with the person that steals when you guys are out. Just different things like that. Listen to the reviews, okay? And the only downfall from this is that not everyone is going to have positive reviews. Not everyone is going to have negative reviews. So you have to use your own discernment as well. But I would say use reviews from other people. I like to say reviews as a guide to figure out if you want that person in your life. Because I know plenty of people that have gotten bad reviews and it's just been because that person um, probably didn't vibe with their personality with the person that gave the bad review which it doesn't mean that they're a bad person but it just means that you know their personalities did not click so again you have to use your own intuition your own discernment but use it as a guide and don't just dust it off when you hear someone that you know is people are basically warning you about Okay, so the second friend to watch out for is the friend that is a user, that constantly is using you, whether it's for money or to get to somebody else. And I would say this, if you are someone that is aspiring to be an influencer, aspiring to basically do anything, be successful, be great, if you are moving forward in your life, kudos to you sis but there's going to be people that see that and see that as an opportunity they don't necessarily see you and y'all friendship as something they just want for themselves to get to know you and build a true sisterhood they're just seeing you as a money opportunity a 
business opportunity or whatever so you have to again use your intuition use your discernment because there's going to be people that come around you and every conversation they have with you is about you or or something that they're interested in getting from you or it could just be solely about money or they're asking inappropriate questions about how much money you're making oh girl um you know i i'm trying to get like you or oh can you cover me just anything around that realm of asking you for money or trying to be put on a lot of people befriend you just to get certain things out of you and i know that um, I've run into people that were like that. And at first, again, I ignored those signs instead of trusting my gut and I ended up getting played in the end. But there's going to be people that see you and not are really looking for a friendship. They're looking for someone to take from. So again, in the beginning stages of making new friends, try to not lead with other things that you do extracurricular things that you do or just your hobbies try to just lead with yourself and who you are as a person but if you are hearing that they constantly ask about a certain thing whether it's maybe your youtube channel or your job or they're constantly asking you the same um topic of question take that into account because they may just be friends with you for that one purpose again some people might say it's a reach, but in my experience, I've had friends, I've had people that have tried to be my friend to solely learn how to grow a YouTube channel. And I understand people just needing advice and needing um, mentorship, but don't come to me like you're trying to have a genuine friendship when your ulterior motive is to just take what I do and copy it so you can grow your platform. So that's just a small example that I have. Um, but let me know if that's happened to you and what the situation was in the comment section down below. I would love to engage with you guys and talk about that. But we're going to get into the third friend. I put up four fingers, right? Wow. The third friend to watch out for. So the third friend to watch out for when you are making new friends is the clout chaser. And a lot of the things that I'm saying... You know, it's, it's also personal too. And I don't know where you guys are in your life, but again a lot of the things that i'm saying happen when you're making serious moves and you're starting to push in a direction that people aren't used to seeing you in there is always going to be a cloud chaser okay whether you are a nobody a somebody a list b list d list z list there's always going to be someone that's using you for alternative motive so um in terms of the clout chasing friend y'all like i would say I would say like the same thing I said before, try not to lead with what you do, but lead with who you are. Because if they keep trying to ask and, and um, inquire about things that you do rather than get to know who you are as a person, to me, that's a red flag. Um, I've had friends that have solely only tried to connect with me so we can go out together in public. Or... Um, we would not talk as much, but when we linked up, they had to post me everywhere on everything and like make a big deal out of it. I know I'm literally not even, I'm not even anybody yet. So I'm just like, what is going on? But it happens. And once they receive such clout or such notoriety from you, they leave. So again, try to just take baby steps when you're making friends so you can see these red flags. Um, a lot of this stuff just gets... Uh, clouded in the moment because we're just happy to have another friend we're getting to know someone but you have to be very analytical and maybe that's just like the the detective Benson in me but I like to read someone in their fullest I can never just go off a of first impression because that's when we are our best selves I like to see people in a range of ways and different lights and different stages whatever and it just gives me a better picture a fuller picture of who they really are as a person so the cloud chasing friend I feel like they're the easiest to identify because they don't even care like whatever whatever cloud they need from you they're going to make sure that they get it if they want to just say they're posted up with you and every time they're out with you you guys could be just getting ice cream they have to post you it's a red flag like if the person 
And this has happened too, where someone has tried to make it sound like we're closer than we are. Like, uh-uh, like, please don't do all that. So again, just be mindful of the cloud chaser when making new friends, whether or not you wanna have them in your circle. Because I will tell you one thing, the cloud chaser out of all these are probably the first ones to leave, to leave you hanging. And, and not really give a damn whether or not you're okay, especially in um, situations where you guys are out. The cloud chaser doesn't care. Like, they're just there to, you know, feed off your name. They don't really care about your well-being. So just be mindful of that person. Me personally, that's probably like the worst, the worst friend to start making. So the fourth person to watch out for when making new friends is the person that wants to know every single detail about your personal life but doesn't tell you a single thing about them. And I hate to bring in Zodiacs, all right, but Scorpios tend to do this. So if you are befriending a Scorpio, make sure you beat them at their own game. Scorpios, sorry, they they tend to, to gather as much information as they can on a person before they share anything about themselves. And I understand it a little bit, but it's a little bit more conniving with them because it's like they purposely won't tell you anything. They'll go out their way to be very secretive and instead like just gather all this stuff about a person. So just again, that's just my little thing about Zodiacs. Just be mindful of a Scorpio. But be weary of a person that constantly asks you about themselves and when you have to ask them the same question, they literally decline, all right? And I'm not saying the person that's just like, it takes a minute for them to open up. That's completely different. There's some people that just will never open up to you and keep their life a secret and keep themselves as a secret. That is someone that is not open up to you for a reason. They should not be inquiring that much about you in the beginning. That's weird, okay? And a lot of those people end up doing you dirty, seeking revenge, turning on you, stabbing you in the back. If you feel like you don't know anything about your friend, if you can't list five fun facts about your new friend, dump them, okay? And what I like to do is I like to watch people and observe them with their other friends. That's just how I learn best um, about different people. I do ask my friends things, but I like to see how they interact with other people to get a better idea. Again, I'm a people watcher. And if I see that they are, um, like open with their friends, they, you know, share more intimate experience with their friends. I'm like, okay, maybe they're just, you know, trying to warm up to me. But if that person, they don't even have friends to go off of, or they're just that secretive person with their friends too, I just see that as like a red flag in my opinion. Um, so just be wary of people that want to know every intimate detail about your life, but then they don't share those same things with you. Um, and again, this does not, it's not the same as someone that just takes a minute to open up. I'm talking about the person that just won't tell you anything for years and years on end. The last person to watch out for when making new friends is the one that does not respect you. Like, like no respect at all. And I will say this is probably the biggest one. If you are making a new friend and they don't respect your boundaries, they don't respect you know, what you have to say. They just don't respect you and they're just being straight up disrespectful. Drop them, please. Please. Um, another thing with that too, and this is more with this generation, if you're talking to someone having a real conversation or you're just speaking to them and they would rather be on their phone, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. And I used to have a friend like that where she was just straight up disrespectful. I don't know if she just didn't have home training or something, but we would be talking and she would literally go onto FaceTime in the middle of me speaking or text someone in the middle of me speaking. You know, we're having a serious conversation. And it was to the point where I probably addressed it like two or three times and she still kept doing it. And you have to pay attention to people like that. People that are just straight up disrespectful to you, it shows how they feel about you and about the relationship. So if you feel like you're giving someone respect, if you are um, giving someone the proper communication and instead they're showing with their body language or with their actions that they don't respect what you have to say, or they just don't respect you as a person in general, why are we trying to be friends with people like that? Why are we trying to get closer to people like that if they don't respect you? Um, that girl, I will say, <laughs> that's a whole nother topic for a different day, but 
if, if, if someone would rather text and talk to someone, you know, across the country rather than talk to you in front of their face, don't even deal with them. Don't go out with them. Don't do none of that stuff. Don't waste your time, nor your breath, because just the same as relationships, you need to have respect in your friendships, your platonic friendships. So don't take that lightly. Don't take body language lightly. Whatever your gut, whatever your intuition is telling you, it's probably right. It's probably right. So if you're noticing that you're not receiving the proper respect or the proper treatment from a new friend or, you know, the friend in the beginning stages, if they're just being straight up rude to you, dump them, drop them like a, like a, like a, like a, like a hot potato. I don't know. Just drop them. There, there's no question about it. Let them go. If you don't respect me, you don't need to be in my life. If they don't respect you, they don't need to be in your life. So hopefully all of those things were somewhat helpful to you guys. I know everyone is trying to make friends now that they're out of quarantine. A lot of friendships have definitely shifted during this time as, as far as I've heard. And this is the time you guys should be making friends. This is the time you guys should be um, getting to meet new people. But do not just go off of first impressions. Please, please get to know people and who they truly are, what their values are, what their morals are, and how their communication is, because that is going to be the foundation of your friendship. So hopefully you found these very helpful in terms of figuring out who to watch out for when making new friends. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below and that you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.